Hey guys, welcome to another unboxing here on Soto Pop. Oh. So cool. All right, I accidentally knocked something over. Let me move this up a little bit. Uh, as always, I'm your host of Frozen Stratos, and today I've got a really <coughs> important box um, that I just coughed all over. Um, I promise, I'm not sick. Um, I guess you can't really get anything from a, a video, but uh, this is a box of stuff um, partly that I have been searching for most of my candy toy collecting career. Uh, so it's awesome, 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 awesome to finally get a few of these grails. Uh, I have another box uh, that's supposed to have more of them. Uh, and some of you could probably guess uh, what it's gonna be if you want to try and do that in the comments down below before I fully open it go ahead uh, feel free um, and then we'll see what happens but um yeah uh, again like I said this is only part of it I was gonna wait until the other one showed up but one um, I don't know how the post postal service is gonna be doing its thing while the whole you know social distancing stuff is going on um, and two, I just really wanted to open it. I wanted to see which one this was, because uh, I ordered two things at the same time, got two tracking numbers, and I'm not sure which one this is. So, uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm so stoked to have these in my collection. All right, so you've got a chance. Pause now if you want to guess what I've got, but here we go. Three, two, one. Ah! Oh, wow. Oh, it's so... Oh, it's so neatly done. Oh my god, this is... <laughs> oh, man. Um... Oh, this got a little damaged, like this box. Oh, hey! Yeah, another thing in here. Yeah, this box got smacked pretty hard. But, um, yeah, so like I said, these are some grails. Uh, first off, though, uh, just a bike for XA because I didn't have one. Um, I'm probably gonna see if I can get some stickers that are blacked out eyes if they're not already present in here uh, But yeah um, Yeah, uh, and then uh, Just Here I'll show you the first one that I wasn't quite searching for but I sort of filled the bag with the box with and I guess these could be grails as well because I've been on and off collecting these uh, this is EX2 of the Soto, not Soto, the Candy Toy Gaim series. Uh, so it's got Marika, it's got the blue silver uh, apple dude, and the, the gold apple dude, and evil Gaim, I think. I, I don't think this one's Bujin Gaim, that one's the blown orange. Uh, but this one's Bad Gaim. Bad Gaim, yeah, there it is. Um, yeah, so this stuff, this is the stuff I've been looking for. Um, so, I know I'm getting combo change too soon, but, uh, I guess I've already got some of it. These are the Candy Toy O's figures. And I got these two, and this. Uh, all in one thing. I, I, like I said, I have more coming. I did my best to complete it all. Um, I think the only thing that escaped me was, um, birth. Uh, so I'll be tracking one of those down. But, um, yeah, all these, unreleased in Soto yet, and this guy's a premium Bandai. Uh, but this was all retail, once upon a time. Um, I don't normally, like, unbox and sort of play, but I do kind of want to get on screen what these all look like, what sort of the unboxing experience is like. I'll open the Tamashi combo, because he is destroyed. Luckily, while I do keep the packages, I'm not too attached to uh, ooh. <laughs> uh, their condition. Um, so here we go. Here we, here we go. Uh, Tamashi O's. Yes. How old is this? How old is this candy? Did O's come out in 2009? I'm gonna eat these eventually. I still have my Decade Candy sitting here uh, for my last unboxing that I definitely want to eat. Uh, <laughs> so we'll see. Um, but yeah, like I've been saying, I've been praising these figures because they are like some of the absolute best. They fit with the actual play pattern um, and are one full figure with tons of articulation. Um, 
Yeah, and in one box, mind you, in one box, there are stickers. And I am worried about how I am going to apply these, just because these are old stickers. And I don't quite know the quality of them, you know? Uh, so I'm gonna be careful with those. I'm not gonna apply them just yet. Oh, man. That's, oh yeah, look at that. Swivel wrists? Are you kidding me? I thought they'd be ball joints, but I guess that was a later edition. You've got elbows that don't quite hit 90. Don't even quite hit 180, but um, yeah, this is the Momo arm. That is a really, yeah, that is a really well detailed Momo arm. You've got the regular Taka head, but like I said, the best thing about these is that you can actually you press the button on the back and they come apart. That is that is exactly what I was looking for. Not specifically what I was looking for with Soto O's. Uh, but something a little bit more playable like this. Obviously they can't get, you know, the button spring. I honestly had no idea um, how these worked and how they all fit together. But Ah, okay, that wasn't as satisfying as I thought, but, um, yeah, this is so neat, uh, and, like, these stickers, I was worried for a second, because it looked like, uh, it was all one sticker, but, uh, they are separated on that circle, uh, so I opened O's, let me open up, I know you guys can't really vote, I'm really looking forward to this one, so I'll save the best for last, uh, so we'll go shout, uh, wet boy let's do this um i wonder how they handle the eel thingies the little eel things more uh decades old candy that's good that's healthy need that in my system uh and i mean i guess if i'm quarantining i might as well ration them out um <laughs> let's see here um I'm gonna be very ginger with the stickers, so use all those. It's a nice foil paper. All right, looks like um, yeah, for the uh, the eel things, they opted to just sculpt it into the arm, so it's not really you can't actually use it as a weapon, which is fine. But they did this awesome thing where like, let's see if I can get that. The sculpting follows the in the arm all the way down, so then you know. You sort of get that continuation. Love that. Uh, so, here we go. Oh, yeah. Uh, ooh, leg fell off. Double jointed knees. Are you kidding me? Like, come on. Uh, oh, wow. Yeah, ball jointed feet. Like, the articulation on these is out of this world. It's like, it beats early Soto by a large margin. Um, like, and I don't, nothing now in this scale really does double jointed knees like this that is incredible um wow okay i'm just enamored by this thing swivel hands once again i don't think you can take them out i think they're just sort of stuck in there but yeah head ball joint everything this is so good uh let's take it apart so you'll notice that there's an entire like stick sort of you know going all the way through so you get your separate parts let's do some part swapping because obviously that's that's what this toy is made to do so let's take some of this guy you know what we'll do that at the end uh we'll open up this guy first um before we start mixing and matching as we should um like i said uh i got a ton of these coming um so I can't, I absolutely cannot wait. This is, honestly, I feel like this is where the candy toy line peaked. Uh, Oz, or, Oz was great. Forze was pretty good. Um, and it did get all those module changes pretty good. Uh, but just the playability you can't beat here. Even the, the wizard ones were okay figures. Like, they were weirdly proportioned like the figure arts were getting. Um, and they're just so hard to find on the aftermarket. Those are some other grails I'm looking for. Wow, minimal stickers here. Um, 
that means most of this guy. Wow, okay. Most of this guy. It's not painted. This is gray plastic instead of the, like the pearlescent white. And check these out. The, uh, these are on ball joints. So that's really, di ah, yeah, that's nice. Um, obviously you can't do the whole like shoulder pokey outy thingy. That's fine. I'm totally fine with that. This looks phenomenal. Again, double jointed knees like that. You just don't get that anymore. Um, yeah, I love this. I love this so much. He's gonna go really nice with. Oh, you know what I should do? I should compare it to uh, some uh, Soto figures. Let's see. Let me see if I can get my O's up in here. Um, hmm. Yes, I have O's right here. So here is Soto O's next to. They're just, I'd say these old ones are slightly taller, but not by too much. Uh, the proportions on this are a lot better, um, you know, just because they they made it a point to do that, but I think the changing is a lot more fluid and a lot better, you know. Um, this is a capital T toy, and you can play with this. And I'm very excited to do just that. We're going to be doing some swaps, some combinations, right here, right now. Um, you can't really vote um, for what combination you'd like to see, because that's not how this works. Um, let's see. I'm going to do Shark, Imagine, and Kutotira, Tyrannosaurus. Yeah, that's nice. Um, it's a little, it's a little wobbly. Um, uh, let's see, Dino, the dinosaur one, uh, Puto Tira, that one technically, oh, okay, yeah, that, that one is a little harder to, like, secure in place, but, like, that one, technically, you're not supposed to be swapping around with anyone, but you can here, just like you can do with Soto, um, again, I wish I could show you, uh, what it looks like all stickered up, but I do want to be a bit more careful, with it, so I'm not gonna like immediately rush to doing that here. Um, ooh, yeah, that's not bad. Okay, the the chest looks a bit sparse, but I don't know. I really like the uh, the gold with the the purple. Let me see if I can get something else for that. But before that, I do want to finish off another combo with the rest of these. We've got this one. Uh, can you name this? It's Taka Puto To Taka To. What is this? Triceratops? And then, um, Chow Ta Taco? This isn't a taco. Yeah, it is. Uh, maybe? I don't know. I don't know my aminals in, in Japanese. But yeah, there we go. Um, now let's see if I can get like a really nice combination with, uh, with this here I do like the head and the wings they do come with it like you separate it and the wings are part of it um, let's see what chest maybe maybe I'll just have yeah ooh that's nice okay dang that looks pretty good I like that because uh, it's got some gold to it already anyway um yeah, if, uh, if you want more information on these, hit me up on Twitter. I'm more than happy to answer any questions about these. Or head to the Soto Pop Discord, which is called Candy Toy Corner, where, uh, I mean, it's a corner to talk about candy toys. I'm more than happy to, to have a discussion about these. Um, these, like I said, have been a grail for a very long time. Um, and I'm just so stoked to have these in my collection now. Like, my I'm... My mind is blown. This, these are some of the, the figures that got me into collecting um, Soto. You know, it, it was the interest in these. I never, I never had these before, but it was me wanting them. That, and anything in the 4-inch scale that got me into stuff like this. That brought this channel to you, basically. So... This toy line, while I never owned it, means quite a lot to me. 
um, and I'm glad to have bits of it in my collection. And I am glad that more are coming on the way. This might not be the only uh, unboxing video you'll be getting, uh, especially since the blog is going to be on a hiatus next week. Um, so maybe more unboxings, hopefully, if you know, shipping is still working. If not, that's fine. I totally understand because, you know, everyone's on quarantine. Um, and yeah, I do want to leave off with a few words of, of caution. Please wash your hands. Um, do your best not to touch your face and try not to go out. Like, we need to, as they say, flatten the curve and make sure that people like, you know, uh, medical workers have enough time to get to as many people as possible and that means staying inside so that you don't catch it so that they don't have to um, you know basically sort of heal you or whatever whatever it is that they do the thing is um, social distancing is a good thing flattening the curve basically means like we're giving uh, medical professionals enough time uh, between cases uh, in order to properly serve and save everyone. So please do your best out there. Um, and yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you like this video, hit that like button and subscribe. If you want to hear more from us each week, um, tell us in the comments down below what you think about these guys. Um, if you want me to... Actually, if you do want me to sort of talk about these, I absolutely can uh, in an upcoming Soto Pop. Uh, but this week we should be having our Soda Pop news and our Soda Pop podcast episode go up. So look forward to that while you guys are under quarantine or staying away, staying inside. You know how it works. Guys, thanks for watching. Keep it juicy. Oh, there's that is the end. There it is. <laughs>